be still studying next year's camp. And this my little sister. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Pada. I am studying in UKG. Happy, Happy Christmas! I hope you have seen my previous video where I have explained you what are the components of the RC card and the working model of it. In this video, I will be explaining about the programming part of the RC card. Without any further delay, let's quickly go to the programming. So, in the last video, we saw the part 1. So, today we are going to see the part 2, which is the programming part. Let me quickly share my screen and let's start the programming. So, I'm in stem.desi.in. Now, let's give start new project. And let's name this to be the RC car. Or you could even name it as the remote control car. So now the interface looks like this. So let, let's quickly design a particular app. Now let's drag and drop a button for scanning the particular barcode generated in motherboard. Let's give this to scan. And let's give the font size to be 30 as it's really too small. And let's give it be center because I want it to be center aligned. If you want to right or left, you could choose it accordingly. Now I'm going to add a uh, rest four buttons, which is for forward, backward, left, and right. So uh, RC card uh, naturally goes forward, backward, left, and right when we click that particular button. So let's quickly drag, drag and drop four buttons. And let's give this to be the forward. And let's give the phone size to be 30. That's perfect. So now let me do the same procedure for rest three buttons, which is backward, left and right. So now I've did the same procedure for rest three buttons and it uh, looks something like this. So now let's quickly uh, give some color to our app because it's really boring. Now it looks better. So let's quickly add our main three components, which is a notifier, barcode scanner, and the Bluetooth client, which is used for all the projects in the robotics. So let's quickly search notifier. Or you could actually uh, scroll down and pick it. So, but I'm too lazy. So I'm going to type and pick it up. So now let's type this to be the Bluetooth client. And let's type barcode scanner. Yeah. So now we got our three main components. Next, we need the two main components for this project, which is the left motor and the right motor. So let's uh, take two motors from Cutie by Mega Blocks. So it's right here. Let me quickly connect this to the Bluetooth client. And let me choose the port number. Uh, so I have given the port number to be one for the left motor. I'm going to rename this to be the left motor. Or let's give this to be left. And I'm going to add another motor, which is our right motor. And we quickly connect to the Bluetooth client. And I've connected to the port number two, so I'm going to give this to be two. And now let me quickly rename it. Now, as I renamed it, our uh, the particular designing has been finished. So let's, uh, let's quickly move to the programming part by clicking the block section. And the interface looks something like this. So first, let's uh, do the Bluetooth connectivity to connect our app and our motherboard together. So let me quickly click the bag over here, my backpack, where I've stored already my Bluetooth connectivity blocks. And if you want to do it from the scratch, uh, in my previous video, which is my touch-free water, dis uh, touch water dispenser, I've taught uh, how to do the Bluetooth connectivity detail. So you could watch the video for the detailed information. So I'm gonna quickly drag and drop it, which is scan. 
and after scan scan of course we should scan a particular barcode and after this after scan we should connect to the address get results and then connect it else not connect it so now um this is what and now let's quickly change the button uh, button ids because like i'm really getting confused button one button two button three and button four let me quickly change my button ids by clicking the designer interface and let me rename all the button ids so now as i rename my particular button ids let me quickly go to the box interface and let's change our scan to scan yeah that's perfect now as we did our main two blocks which is our bluetooth connectivity uh, so it actually if you're the first for robotics projects you could just drag and drop into the backpack so it will be saved over here so no need to do it again and again so now let's do the main programming of the rc car now let me quickly go to the left button which is right here yeah now i'm going to give this to be the touch down because when i touch down the forward button or uh, my left button it should go left when i touch down the right button it should go right when i touch up it should not so let me quickly give this to be forward because now let me go from the base uh, as i did so let me go to forward and it is good left motor and recall rotate speed direction and let's give the speed to be 150 by going to the max column and give a number which is 150 and let's give the direction to be true now let me just copy and paste this and give this to be the right motor So now, as we did a touchdown, which I dragged and dropped our left uh, rotate speed and direction from the motors and renamed this to be 150 speed or how much of a speed you are uh, giving it and true and true. Now, when it's touch up, so let me click the same forward button and I'm going to give this as uh, a touch up. And now I'm just going to... Uh, copy and paste this because I'm lazy to do it again and again. Now, as I copied and paste this, I'm going to give this to be the zero and zero. Or even you could give this to be false and false, but I, I now gave it as zero and zero. Now, we're going to just uh, do the same procedure for the backward also, but this time we're going to do it as false and false instead of true and true over here. So let me quickly copy and paste this. And I'm going to give this to be the backward. And let's give this to be the false and false. And I'm going to do the same procedure for the backward for the touch up to which is backward and the rotate speed is zero, which is true, zero, and it's true. Now, uh, coming to the concept of left and right, let's do the same procedure, but the true and false changes, which, which is the direction. And let's give this the left button first. It is touch up. Let's give this to be the touch up or the touch down first. And let's copy and paste this. Let me give this to be false and this to be as true. So this false and true is according to the direction. So because true is forward and false is backward. So, so when this is followed, so the left is something like uh, when we go left, on um, the left side, nothing will happen. So let it be false and let this be true. So it goes to left. The same procedure applied to the right too. So first let's do the touch up. 
And let's give this to be the left button. And speed zero and zero two. And now let's copy and paste this. And the last, which is the right button. But this time we're gonna give this to be true and this to be false according to the direction. Let me give the last thing, which is the touch up. And I'm gonna give this to be the right button. So now that's it is the programming part of the RC car. Let me quickly show you the uh, designing and the programming once again. So this is my designing part. And this is my programming part. So that's it, the programming is done. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you missed my previous video, no issue. The link is in the description below. Please don't forget to like, share and comment to my video and subscribe my channel. Till then, see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.